So here's another good limit example, the limit as h approaches 0 of 2 plus h cubed minus 8 all over h. And to help us find this limit, we have a column of limit laws on the right hand side. But what you're going to see is that this is more of an algebra problem than a limit problem. But let's first have a go. If we were to take h as it approaches 0 as the limit is written, on the top, inside the parentheses, as h approaches 0, well this goes to 2, 2 to the power of 3 is equal to 8. So on the top we have 8 by 8, which is equal to 0. So let's write that down. We have 0 on the top, divided by, as h approaches 0, well this goes to 0 on the bottom. So we have a case of 0 divided by 0, which we can't evaluate. 0 divided by 0 is indeterminate. So this is not going to work. But let's now take this expression. And unfortunately, there really isn't any shortcut here, except to expand this 2 plus h term in the parentheses here. So if I write this as 2 plus h by 2 plus h by 2 plus h, and we'll copy the rest down, so we have minus 8 all over h. And I know this is tedious, but I'm just going to expand this manually. If you want, you can use the binomial theorem. Going through the first two terms, we have 2 by 2 by 2 by h, or plus 2 by h, plus 2 by h, plus h squared. Okay, so let's simplify this before we expand further. So 2 by 2 is 4. 2h plus 2h is 4h. And the h squared remains. And we are multiplying this again by 2 plus h. And we'll copy down the rest. Minus 8 all over h. So expanding yet again. 4 by 2 is 8. 4 by h is 4h plus 8h plus 4h squared, plus 2h squared, plus h cubed. So simplifying, 4h plus 8h is 12h. 4h squared plus 2h squared is 6h squared, plus the h cubed minus 8 all over h. So now the 8 and the minus 8 cancels out. So now that we've simplified it down to this, I can factor out an h on the top. So we have h outside of 12 plus 6h plus h squared divided by h. And h on the top divided by h on the bottom, well they cancel out. So we've simplified this limit now to the limit as h approaches 0 of 12 plus 6h plus h squared. And by limit law number 1, we can treat each of these entities as mini functions. So we can evaluate the limit of each term separately. So this equals the first term 12, that is unaffected by the limit, so that remains as 12. The second term 6h, as h approaches 0, we have 6 times 0, so that's plus 0. And the final term, h squared, as h approaches 0 there, we have 0 squared, which is 0. So the limit is equal to 12. After some algebraic manipulation of the initial expression. Now if you don't believe the simplicity of this answer, let's have a look at it graphically. Okay, so here I am in Desmos Graphing Calculator. And you can try this yourself at this address. This is a great free tool that you can use to visualize any function. So check it out. So here I've plotted the function 2 plus x cubed minus 8 over x. And I'm just going to zoom in to zoom into the y-axis here. And I'm going to zoom into where the curve crosses the y-axis. Okay, so if I follow this curve from the left, you can see that as we get closer and closer to zero, we get closer and closer to the limit of 12. 
Now, if we try and find the value of the function at zero, you'll find that it is undefined because we have a division by zero when x equals zero. But as I approach zero from the right, we can also see that the corresponding value of y gets closer and closer to 12. So this satisfies the definition of the limit. And this is a key concept with limits that we need to understand because even though the function is not defined at x equals zero, when we take values on the curve, as x approaches zero from either side, we're still seeing that we're getting closer and closer to the value of 12. So with limits, we can get as close as we like to x equals zero, and we can still find the limit. We are not actually evaluating the function at x equals zero. So that's a key thing to understand. Okay, so that'll conclude this video. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to express them in the section below. Check out the many other videos I've got on this channel to help you with your studies, including all of the playlists. For now, best of luck. I'll see you on the next video.